Hey! He did it. But man, man. All right, let's go get him. Come on. One more time. Yeah. Okay, hello. Hello. tied up out here. Okay, well, could you finish the game later and start it now? The kids are starving. No, we're not. You're not? Well, you will be. Jennifer, take a time out. Help me in the kitchen, okay? <sighs> one more shot. Billy, come on. Uh, okay. Come on, let's go play. Let's go. That was a really great tackle, wasn't it? Yeah, good job. See, where I'm the one to come. Because you're my favorite child. I'm your only child. Same thing. Mom, I don't eat hamburgers. Yeah, I was going to make you a turkey burger. No meat, no poultry. Oh, okay, I forgot. A uh, uh, veggie burger. Here, make yourself useful. Can I have my camera? May I have my camera? Huh? May I have my camera? You may, but Aunt Lisa, be warned, she's got a new hobby. Can't make a move in this house without having a camera in your face. Mom, it's for a class. Mm -hmm. I completely forgot she's on this new veggie kick right now. Bill would never put up with that. Why? What difference does it make? He doesn't have to eat it. Well, if it's good enough for him, it's good enough for us. <laughs> Lisa, are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. It's just, you know, the money and the job and everything. Bill's been under a lot of strain, but... Hi, honey. Do you want something? Nope. Just came to get a couple beers. Mm. Never mind me. So anyway, I say to the boss, there's no way that stuff gets scratched in my truck. But the woman's going on about her mother's this, her antique that, you know. Did you strap down the loads? <laughs> yeah, I strapped them, blanketed them. No way did I scratch your precious furniture. She was looking for insurance money, plain and simple. So, she gets a settlement and I get sacked. So what are you going to do now? I got plans. That other job wasn't for keeps anyway. I got better things to do. Like... I'm not gonna work for somebody else my whole life. I'm gonna take a franchise seminar. Be my own boss. Well, that costs money. Gotta spend it to make it. Gotta have it to spend it. I'm not worried. Hell, I always land on my feet. Um. Oh, oh, damn it! That's attractive. <laughs> oh, Lise, get some water on there. That's the only sweater I brought. No, well, I'm it's warm enough to do without. You know, I'm always cold. Oh, well, that's not going to come out. All right, listen, I got something upstairs. Come on. All oh. right. Ugh. Yuck. Well, it's not as nice as what you've got on, but it's clean, it's blue, and it'll keep you warm. What? You want something else? No, oh, no, this is great. I'll put it on. Thanks. Okay. I'll be down in the kitchen, okay? Okay. All right, a little tight. Oh, You're doing great, Scott. Down, I'm pushing harder. Hey, Dad, it's my turn. No, it's still Scotty. Hey, Lisa, smile. <laughs> oh, don't take my picture. I'm a mess. Oh, you look great. Come on. <sighs> okay. Fabulous. <laughs> hey, everybody, group photo, come on. Okay, so All right, come on, Uncle Bill. Come on, you guys. <laughs> Two young ladies, come on. Get closer. Line it up. Right. Hey, come here, you guys. Okay. Get closer together. Oh, boy, will I be glad when this phase is over. <laughs> okay. Okay, everybody, one. Two, three, money! money.
giving me the damn evil eye all night long. That's what she was doing. Well, she's my sister, Bill. She's concerned yeah, about Yeah, well, me. why was she concerned? What did you tell her? I didn't tell her What did you tell her, that I can't support my family? No, I did not oh, say... Oh, yeah, right, I heard you. Uh, Bill, I swear... Look, you don't ever talk about me like that. Ever again, you hear? Do you hear me? I'm sorry, okay? Damn straight, you're sorry. You're the sorriest thing I've ever seen. And they're yapping to your sister about how I can't get a job. It's a damn lousy job anyway. The only reason I ever took it was... Never. Never. Why don't you come in? I don't want to come to bed. How many... Yeah, you can give me something about consideration, maybe. Come on, you guys, get in. Move over. I got the window. Scott, you have to sit in the middle. Hey, man, take it easy. All right, see you. Guys, safe, huh? Did we really have to go so soon? Well, we promised Bill's folks we'd be there by noon. Well, at least stay for breakfast. No, we'll get something on the way. He told them we'd be there by lunch. Come on, baby. Time's wasting. Just a second. Listen. Lise, you come anytime you need to, okay? Yeah, we'll make plans. No, 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 no. No plans, just come. Understand? Take care, Lisa. I don't want to hear it. Settle down. Del, I'm really worried about her. I mean, I don't know what's going on between them, but she is just... She is wrapped real tight. Yeah, you noticed, huh? Yeah. You know, hon, maybe it's time I paid them a little visit. I haven't done that in a while. Well... You be careful, okay? It's their marriage. Yeah, it's their marriage, but she's my sister. Hey, good looking. when you wear a suit. You look so handsome. Oh, can't keep your hands off me. Is that what you're saying? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> How did it go? Oh, it was okay. Seemed like such a good job for you, Bill. Oh, baby. Good job for me would be working for myself. Well, I, I know, but um, right now you just, you need to land something, you know, just for a little while. I don't want to land anything. I got plans of my own, huh? How many times I gotta tell you that? What the hell is this? It's dinner. I don't think so, not in my house. Bill, I only had $25 this week. This crap to... isn't fit for dogs. I grew up on it. I didn't. At least let me give it to the kids. I said no. But it's all I got. Oh, yeah? Oh, you got this? Honey, honey, honey. I'm so scared. I've never been so scared. It's okay, sweetie. It's gonna be okay. She's over there. And she's... Oh, my God. She, okay. she looks awful. All right, all right. Listen to me. You go get yourself some water, all right? Then sit down and wait for me over there. I'm gonna go talk to the doctor and make sure that your mom's gonna be okay. Okay. Do that. Hi. Uh, I'm Lisa Miles' sister, Joanne. She's bruised pretty badly, and she's got a concussion. She's gonna be a lot of pain for a couple of days, but she'll do okay. She's right over there. Oh, are you going to call the police? Oh, file a report, but there's nothing that they can do unless she presses charges. Oh, she will. Don't be too sure. Hey, Elise. Hi. We're here now. Bill's not gonna hurt you anymore. Bill Miles? Yeah? 
What do you guys want? Turn around, slow. Hands up against the car where I can see them. Whatever. You're under arrest for the assault and battery of Lisa Miles. Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. You have the right to an attorney. If you cannot afford an attorney, one will be appointed to you by the courts. Joanne, I can handle things from here on in. Please go home. Hey, honey, I just got out of the hospital three days ago. Yes, well, I'm not 12 years old anymore. I can take care of myself. How long? Lise? How long has he been doing this to you? It's not how you think. Really? How do I think? We've been having a really hard time lately, just making mortgage payments and paying the grocery bill. It's been very hard on Bill. Yeah? The hell with Bill. It's been hard on you. Well, most of the time, Joe, I can handle him. Look, you know what? I really appreciate everything that you're doing right now, okay? But we're gonna be fine. Okay, I'm sorry. Look, I'm really sorry. I... If you want me to go, I'll go. But I don't feel good about it. I would really much prefer if you stayed with us. The kids have school. Well, I just feel better about it, that's all. Why? Because, um... Bill's out on bail? Yeah. Because Bill's out on bail, because he's 20 minutes away over at his sister's. That... Doesn't that frighten you? He's not gonna hurt me again, Joe. How do you know that? I mean, how can you be so sure? Because I talked to him. Because I talked to him. And he feels awful. Yeah, well, he should. Baby? Shh. Don't say anything. Look, I just want to... I did that to you. Oh, God. the charges after what he did to her she she's letting him back into the house well maybe bill's getting help oh yeah i'm sure bill is getting help do you know what she said to me she said that i don't treat her like an adult you don't what oh oh okay all right but you know something Dell. this is different this man just about beat her to death Joanne, you know, for some reason that neither you nor I understand, she still loves this guy that hurts her. But Lisa's a smart woman. It won't always be that way. Oh, Del, I am just so afraid for her. Does she know that I've got an interview? Yes, I told her when I woke her up. Yeah, well, if she makes me late. Bill, just eat your breakfast. Yeah, well, it's already ruined. Bill? Bill? What are we, the Queen of Sheba? So, you want 
breakfast in bed, is that it? I was on my way down. Well, you're gonna make me late. I've got an interview. An interview for yet another crappy job. Oh, so what? It's our fault that you keep getting fired. You don't mouth off to me, young lady. Don't! At least you don't! keep out of this. Never your fault he is a daddy! Don't! <gasps> oh, my God. You didn't talk to me before. Because I love him, and he loves me, and I don't know, it's like we, we're locked together in this kind of dance that we do. And usually it works out. We work it out somehow, I don't know, but this time it was different because, because Susie was there. You know, and I will never let him hurt one of my kids. Let's go, we're running out of time. Come on! Lisa, get in the car! Honey? I am so sorry. Lisa, get in. You tried to hit Susie. I don't know what happens to me sometimes. I swear I don't. You know something? I know what happens to you. You beat the crap out of me. I'm her. talking to my wife! And I'm talking to you! Bill, get in the car and move it, or I will drive right through it. I swear to God, I will. This is none of your business, Joanne. When it shows up on my doorstep at midnight, it becomes my business. Now move it. All right, Joanne, fine. Honey, we'll talk later, okay? No, we won't. Steady. Maybe it's the floor. You know, Lisa, maybe it's the floor. Uh, I can go. Honey, I gotta go. Okay. My crew starts in half an hour. Oh, gee, yeah. Okay, bye, you. Bye. Mm. Yeah. Listen, you need anything, you call, okay? Well, the phone's not on until tomorrow. Oh, well, then, uh, why don't I stop by later? I can you really have done enough today. Knock it off, you guys. Thank you for everything. Yeah. Okay, Dell's gonna come by tomorrow and put on some good dead bolts. And we are gonna pick you up some more stuff. And I think the Kowalski's still got that old uh, TV in the garage. So. A couple days without TV's not gonna kill us. <laughs> Says you. Uh -huh. Bye, you guys. Mm -hmm. Bye, Bye. Mm -hmm. Goodbye, my little jumping beans. Bye. Bye. Good. Bye. 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 Did you finish in your room? Yeah. I saw it. Work on the kitchen. Okay. I can jump right in the kitchen. Mm -hmm. Hey. Honey, wash those off. They have newsprint all over them. Sure. Oh, Lenny. Oh, oh. Daddy! Oh, my God. Susie, go downstairs and call the cops. No! Go! Go! You guys, you just want to hang out in here a little bit, huh? I'll be right in. I just got to talk to your mom a second. See you later. 
Will you stay away from me? Baby, I'm your husband. And I mean it. You don't know what this is doing to me. How crazy it's making me. Susie just went to call the cops. And why'd you have to go and do it? Just walk out the door. I'm trying really hard to have a conversation with you. Well, I don't want to talk to you. I'm not going to let you take my kids. I already did. I'm not going to let this happen. Leave my house. You know, you talk a really good game right now. But you can't live without me. You know you can't. Months ago, he beat me pretty badly. Put her in the hospital. He wasn't convicted. I didn't press charges. You should have put this guy away when you had the chance. Look, you see the judge, he'll give you an order of protection. And that's gonna keep him away from me? If he comes within 100 feet of you, we can arrest him. If he gets within 100 feet of me, he's gonna get at me. You want my advice? Get a Rottweiler, too. There are no pets allowed in my building. Oh, man, that's too bad. They're the best attorney in the world. Look, I'll type this up. You take it to the judge. morning I did while I was eating. Okay, because I came home and you <laughs> had the I know, I know. I felt oh, no, like... no, no! What is it, Mom? The car is gone. Are you sure you parked it here? Yes, I'm positive. Let's let's go back inside. Call a cab. Okay, let me open the door. Let me open the door. Larry EMP on line two. Ah, damn it! Yep. Found it over on Evans Avenue. Right around the corner from me. Not the best neighborhood, if you don't mind my saying. These kids just want to go for a joyride. Don't think anything. A hot wire. this one on the kids. Whatever. That'll be two seventy nine to reclaim. Dollars? I, I don't have that kind of money. Yeah, bring up And sometimes you have to jiggle the little wiper handle thing. Yeah. Of course, that's only when it rains, but... Listen, you guys, thank you so much. I just, I feel really bad taking your car. Oh, don't. I pretty much sleep during the day. Cheyenne's got the truck. You, can, you need a car. You want to know the truth? Um, I'm sure it was Bill. What? I thought we took all the keys. I thought so, too. Listen, Lisa, maybe you'd feel safer with a gun. You know, I can lend you one of mine, teach you how to use it. No, the kids play in the house a lot, and they could find it. Well, just lock it in a closet. You got the key. No. Thanks anyway, Dale. You guys are sweet to worry about me. Bye. Bye. Would you reconsider getting a Rottweiler? No pits. Let's 
go, everybody. Come on. Everybody out. Well, it's not like you'd be able to tell her anything, but does it seem like there's anything missing? No. No, they must have got spooked. The front door was locked. Yeah, looks like they came in the back. Listen, um, I have a pretty good idea that my, my husband is doing this. First, my car. And... Unfortunately, we have to catch him in the act. The order of protection says that we can't pick him up on suspicion. Do you think I'm crazy? I've, I've seen guys shred women's clothes just so they can't leave the house. I've seen guys steal the furniture, anything to break a woman down. And there's nothing you can do? I mentioned the Rottweiler. Yeah. Shh, go to sleep. Good night, Mom. I love you. Love you, too. sound stressed. Stressed? Yes, I'm, I'm stressed. You stole my car and you wrecked my apartment. It's a bad neighborhood. Don't give me that bill. Baby, you just need me to take care of you, that's all. I can take care of myself. Listen, I filed for a divorce. You stay away from me or I swear I will have you arrested. You get half of everything. Well, yeah, except half of nothing is nothing. What are you talking about? What about the house? Well, Bill stopped making payments on the house. The bank's gonna foreclose. Son of a bitch. You know what, though? I don't care. Because it's over. And he's gonna sign these papers. And we are gonna be divorced. Right. Yay! Yay! Let's celebrate. Yes. I've been saving something. Oh, Joe, you don't have to do that. Well, I want to. <laughs> Go get some glasses, will you? Blutes. Champagne oh, you know flutes. What? You know what? I don't haven't seen these in a while, Joe. Yeah, I know. I know. Not since, let's no. see. Not since New Year's Eve. all over the back porch. With Andy Shay. <laughs> I know. And you... See, that's your job. You're the younger slave sister, I'm and slave. I make the mess. I'm the older, messy sister. But you know what? I'm always going to be younger than you. I know. Shut up. <laughs> you will. Good You'll job. always be younger than me. So let's drink to staying young and beautiful <laughs> and strong. Don't make me cry. Nope. I'm not going to make you cry anymore. You've had too many tears already. To a new life. New life. I'm really proud of you. Okay. You guys brush your teeth and go straight to bed, okay? Lisa, we're going home. I am home. Look, 
I don't know what crap your sister's been feeding you, but we're taking the kids. And we're going home. There is no home, Bill. You lost it. You lost the kids, you lost me, not Joanne. You did it. You did it. You think I'm gonna let you go? Did you think I was gonna let you divorce me? I don't need your permission. Anything. I'm your husband. Not anymore. Without me, didn't you? <laughs> didn't you? Don't! I'm in an ambulance. I'm on 1412 Street. My dad shot my mom. Hurry, you, you gotta hurry! Scott, no! Billy, you don't let him see! <laughs> mom! She was shot at point-blank range. Oh, God. The surgeons were able to stop the bleeding. But there's an enormous amount of damage internally. Did she say anything? She was semi-conscious when they brought her in, which was amazing after all the blood that she'd lost. She kept asking about the kids. Yeah. I have to tell you that with all the damage, especially to her liver, her odds are worse than even. Do you have kids? Y yeah. Well, then you know. She'll pull through. She'll pull through for her kids. Um, Bill's got a sister in Lafayette, and his parents live in Muncie. Okay, we'll check it out. Um, this is my number here. You think of anything at all, just call me anytime. And this is a uh, trauma counselor, Carolyn Porter. We work with her a lot. I'll be fine. It's for the kids, and for you. This sort of thing, you think you're on top of it, but it has a way of sneaking up on you. Hmm. You know, Lisa told me that she thought Bill was messing with her. Stealing the car, breaking into the house, calling and hanging up. Yeah, yeah, she told the same thing. Yeah. Oh. Maybe you should have put him away when you had the chance. Do I have to sleep with him? Why? What's the matter? Sometimes he still wants the bed. Oh. You know what? I think he's gonna be okay tonight. Come on. Let's get you tucked in. Okay, my love. Is that your lab? Yeah. What? Daddy. What, honey? This time he had a gun. I didn't know he was there. Maybe I could have stopped him. No, you couldn't. When you go to sleep, you've had a rough night. Okay? Well, we 
should probably get bunk beds for Jennifer's room and then get some twin beds for the boys. Simple enough. Yeah. But what are we going to do when Lisa gets out of the hospital? I guess we're going to have to rent one of those hospital beds. Joanne. Maybe we'll have to hire a nurse, too. But you know what? You know what? I could do that. I could probably learn how to do some of that stuff. I want my mommy. Honey? Hey, buddy. Come here. Come on. Oh, sweetie, come on. You know what? It's gonna be okay. She's conscious. Lisa? Honey? Hey, honey. Hey, everything's all right. The kids are with me, and I'll I'll bring them as soon as you're better. Okay. What? What, honey? What? Bill. Listen, the police are out looking for him. It's not going to get away. Pick that up with admitting. Mrs. Stoller? Yeah. What's your sister doing? She's better, thanks. Oh, God, that's good news. Uh, you mind if we talk for a minute? You haven't found him, have you? We checked his sister's place, his old job, his parents' place. You know, they could be hiding him. No, no, we, we, he's had no contact. We spoke with them. They're being completely cooperative. They asked about the kids. They haven't called. It's awkward. You can understand their position. Are you sure there isn't any place you can think of? Their old house. He defaulted on the payments. The bank repossessed. It hasn't been sold yet. It's just standing there empty. Mrs. Stoller? Thank God you're still here. Once the liver is that damaged, we literally poison ourselves. Wait, but she was getting better. I know. She's in no pain. But that's all we can do. I'm sorry. Lisa, honey, I'm here. Bill. The police are after him. Oh, yeah, I promise he won't get away. The kids. Promise. Of course, I'll take care of them. Forever. Don't go. Please. <laughs> I'm sorry. I can only give that information out to family members. Oh, Mr. Stoller, I'm afraid the news isn't good. Mrs. Miles passed away. Just a minute, here she is. Mrs. Stoller, it's your husband. Hi, Dell. Oh, honey, I'm so glad that you called. I'm gonna get you for this, Joanne. If it's the last thing I do, I'm gonna get you for this. Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. He restoreth my soul. 
He leadeth me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of mine enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil. My cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. I'm so sorry. We weren't sure if we should come, but Lisa was our daughter-in-law. Where's her son, Doris? Joanne, if we'd have heard from him, we, we would have told the police. So do you want to ride we'll call you sometime soon and visit with the kids. I'm sure they'd like that. Scott, come on, honey. Why don't you walk Grandma to her car? I didn't think they'd show. Well, it would look a little funny if they didn't. Honey, what if they really do know where Bill is and he uses them to get to the kids? I mean, we have to, we have to keep him safe, honey. I promised Lisa. I know, I know. Look, I'm with you on that, but like we have to let the grandparents in to some degree. Yeah, well, you know, they haven't really had that much to do with the kids anyway. I doubt they'll even call. Maybe not. But if they do, I'm sorry. I'm not going to allow it. Not until Bill is caught. Uh, I don't know. I have no idea where he might have been calling from. You didn't hear any sounds? Jukebox? Street noise? Nope, nope nothing like that. Mm -hmm. You know, I think he might call his parents. Yeah, we're trying to get a warrant to monitor their calls. We've got his photo on the wire right now. We're just going to watch his parents and see if he pops up. But you realize that until you catch him, we're all in danger. Okay. Send a car by your place every half hour. Keep an eye on things. Besides, I don't go for you. He's got to know we'll be watching. Well, I hope like hell you're right. Lock it up. Hun? Look, I'm going to be working nights for a while. I don't know. I know, I know. And you can't turn down this promotion. You're going to need some protection. Hon, we've got cops driving by 50 times a day. That's a slight exaggeration. Just... Just put it away, okay? Susie, you have to go back to school sometime, and now is the time. Everybody's just going to stare at me. It's going to be too weird. Yeah, you're probably right. Yeah. But the sooner you go back, the sooner you get it over with, and eventually they forget about it, and you go on. You make it sound so easy. Oh, believe me, I know it's not easy. What, that's it? No patronizing speeches? Nope. So I'll see you downstairs? Yeah. Okay. All right, Scott. Come on, Billy. Come on, come on, come on. You don't want to be late your first day back. I don't want to go to school. There's a lot of that going around today. All right, guys. Well, you get in the front seat. Scott, you can get in the back. Here you go. Ask more questions at the end of the chapter. Here 
go. Billy? Come on. You know, in all my years as a principal, I've had kids with all kinds of family troubles, but never anything like this. Yeah, what they've been through is pretty horrifying. It's beyond comprehension. Do you have them in counseling? Yeah, they don't like to go, but... I think it helps. I'm sure it does. Um, you know, their father is still... Oh, I know, I know. Only you or your husband are allowed to pick up the kids after school. Anyone else tries, and we'll call the police. Thank you. You can take him with you into the waiting room if you like. Hey, big guy, that's a pretty cool dinosaur. He got pretty sad today, didn't he, Scott? Yeah. He's got some friends over there by the toy box. Why don't you see if you can find them? Yeah, listen, honey, I'm just going to talk to Carolyn for a minute. I'll be right out. I had the hardest time trying to get them to go to school today. They didn't want to go. They're insecure. Yeah, but, okay, I've done everything that you told me to do. I've given them a routine. I've made their rooms their own. Give them lots of love, constant reassurance. But everything they've ever known has been violently taken away from them. Naturally, they feel adrift. Okay, well, so what do I do? Have you been made their legal guardian? Uh, well, no, no, but, but I promised my sister in the hospital that I would always take care of them. And make it official. How do I do that? Well, you'll have to talk to someone at child welfare, a social worker. They'll interview you, look over your house, make sure that no other family member is laying claim to the kids. Mm -hmm. Well, Bill's parents are the only possibility on that front, but I don't think they'd do it. Good. Then, after all that, you go to court to be declared guardians. And if you eventually want to adopt them. Oh, yeah. I mean, yes, yes, we do. Then you'll have to legally terminate Bill's parental rights. This is a lawyer that specializes in custody cases. She'll get the ball rolling for you. Okay. Thanks. I mean, my God, Mom, we're just cousins, not twins. I was at school and now at home. I mean, I can't get away from her. Well, that's a pretty dramatic statement. But true. And that's not even the worst part. I feel guilty. I mean, I'm mad at her because she's around so much. And I try to be nice to her. I do. But I can't because I'm mad at her. I feel like such a jerk. She lost her mom. And all I can think about is my space being invaded. Hey, listen, it's hard adjusting to this new life, you know? And you know what else? What? You're not a jerk. Did you have another bad dream? Where's Uncle Dale? He's working. Can I sleep with you? I have a better idea. Come on, sweetie. I want to show you something. Okay, why don't you and Teddy make it comfortable? All righty. Because I have a little something for you. There you go. <laughs> now, every time you wake up, even in the middle of the night, your mom will be right here smiling at you, okay? Okay, good night. Love you. Good night, Mom. Hello? Hello? Bill?
Yeah, I know the order was for ten birdhouses. Right now, though, I've got five, but they're ready to ship. Well, it's just that things have been turned upside down around here. Yeah. Well, we're in the middle of this this custody thing, and, and they still haven't found Bill yet. And I just... Oh, no, Judy, I, I gotta call you back. I gotta go pick up the boys from school. Uh, listen, I'll ship the five out tomorrow, okay? Great, bye-bye. Is that any way to talk to your old man? Come on. I said go away! Is there a problem here? No, oh, no, I just came to get my kids. No! marched right into the schoolyard. What are you people doing? We're doing everything we can. No, I don't think so. I don't think so at all. He's been on the move a lot. He keeps stealing cars as he goes. He has not been in contact with his parents or his sister. Oh, really? You know that for a fact? We got the warrant. We've been monitoring their phone calls. He hasn't surfaced. Do you want to know where he's going to be? I'll tell you exactly where he's going to be. As long as I've got his kids, he's going to be right here trying to get at them. What are you going to do about it? Well, we're going to place unmarked cars in front of your place, and we're going to have squad cars in front of each school. Besides, we'll get in before that happens, Mrs. Stoller. I promise you. Don't promise. Just do it. Mackenzie, how you doing? What's going on? The Stoller house is quiet. I checked back in at 0100, over. We copy. Joanne, look, it's not an option. I just thought that if we could go away for a while, maybe things With what? Huh? We just inherited three kids. We got one of our own. We could borrow the money? Look, I know you're worried. I I'm worried, too. But I'll be damned if I'm going to pack up and go because of Bill. But I just thought Look, that... Look, this is our house, all right? This is our life. For now, at least, these are our kids, and I will not let him set the rules. Dell, you know he almost got them at school. I mean, he could just as easily walk right in there here. There is and... an unmarked police car sitting out there right now. Now, he's going to follow you and the kids everywhere. <laughs> is exactly my point! This is no way to live! Look, honey, for now, anyway, it's just the way it's gonna have to be. I'll call you later, I'll check up on you, okay? Yeah, okay. I'll see you in the morning. She had a whole life before this happened. No. 
She was so afraid. She was always afraid. Mm -mm. Not always. I don't know if you remember this, but... Oh, I think you were too young. You were just a toddler. We went on a picnic. You, me, Jennifer, and your mom. And you got stung by a bee. I'm allergic to bees. Uh, yeah, that's how we found out. You swelled up. You looked like a little watermelon. And you could barely breathe. I was in a panic. And your mom just said, just get in the car and drive. And she took you, she put you on her lap, and you were turning blue. What? I stopped breathing? Yeah. Yeah, and, and Lisa just gave you mouth-to-mouth -mouth resuscitation all the way to the hospital, and wait, I was... Wait, wait, I remember. <laughs> I remember that. You do? Yeah. Mom just held on to me, and she said everything would be okay. I remember when the doctor had to give oh, a shot. I had to leave. With that really big needle. Mom just held my hand. And she smiled. And I knew that everything would be okay. She was a good mom, huh? Yeah. But when Dad... You know what? You know what she always held on to? What? Was that she loved you kids. She just loved being your mom. Yeah. She did. Yeah. Yep, and we loved her, didn't we? Give him back the ball. ball. Billy, give him the ball. Oh. Billy! Oh. Nicholas, you okay? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay, that's good. Yeah. Billy! Yeah, good. What is wrong with you, Billy? Billy, Billy, just calm down, Billy. Oh, I, I got him. I got him. It's okay. I hate you. I oh. hate you. Oh. Oh. Billy, it's okay. Billy! Billy! Oh. Billy, it's okay. It's okay. It's all right. It's all right. It's all right. Unfortunately, it's inevitable. He was raised in a violent home. He has violent tendencies. Susie and Scott aren't violent. Each child is an individual and will react in their own way. You've seen some of it already with Scott's nightmares and Susie's blaming herself. There's also the issue of their father. With him still out there, the kids are completely on edge. Aren't we all? Has there been any progress? No. I mean, not that I know of. Boy, you know, it's really hard to think about him, and it's impossible not to. You feel as though he's ruling your life. Well, in a lot of ways, he has. This has all been pretty stressful for you. You have no idea. So when are you going to come in and talk to me? I'm talking to you now. You're talking to me about the kids. When are you going to come talk to me about yourself? I'm fine, really. I'm fine. Joanne, if you don't take care of yourself, how are you going to take care of everyone else? Billy! Billy! Billy, come on! Scott's already in the car! I'm not going. What do you mean you're not going? Billy! Hey! <laughs> Honey, honey, I know you, you don't want to leave the house because your dad is going to be out there, but listen, the police, the police are going to stop they him. They can't stop him. Nobody can. He killed my mom. And I could stop him. Hey. Hey. That was not your fault, okay? That was not your fault. I am not going to let him hurt you, or Scott, or Susie. I am not going to let him. I'm going to take care of you now. 
I promise. Okay. Okay. Now you go downstairs and get your backpack. And I'll meet you by the car, okay? All right. I love you. say much, but he's just he's gonna leave town for a little while. Did you find out where he was calling from? Yeah, I said it was a local call. It wasn't on the phone long enough for us to trace them. Oh, son of a bitch. Well, um, is, is there anything else? He asked them for money, and they agreed to meet him and give him some. What did I tell you? I knew his parents would help him. But they called us right away. Aiding and abetting was explained in great detail. Besides, they're not too proud of their boy right now. He wants to leave town? We're gonna be there when they give him the cash. Well, I'd like to believe them. I don't know if I do. We have to. For our own peace of mind, we have to believe them. Get them. Yeah. Fourteen minutes. How'd you know? Because it's been a whole minute since you last looked at your watch. I just, I just want to get the guy. Look, that place is full of cops, okay? He's not getting past us. Now, come on, you're making me jumpy. Thirteen and a half.
Let's go. Come on. Okay, this is just the arraignment. We're going after first-degree murder. He'll probably plead not guilty, try to bargain it down. What? Murder's murder, right? They'll want to avoid a trial. Oh, God. Oh, Dell. You all right? Uh, I can't even look at him. Look, I know it's hard, but it's important that you're here in court. This is all your fault, Joanne. Oh, come on. Get off! Just had to butt it. Take it easy. Calm down. I love Lisa. And she loved me. Really? Calm down. Oh, really? That's why my sister's dead? At least listen to the offer, Joanne. He pleads guilty to a lesser charge. No trial. Maximum 12-year sentence with the possibility of parole after six years. I don't want him to get off. He won't. It is possible, though, he could be paroled while Scott and Bailey are still minors. <sighs> He brought a gun to the house. He was planning to kill her. Well, he claims he was carrying the gun for protection. He was living in his car. He'd been mugged. He only wanted Lisa and the kids to come with him. Things got out of hand. He went temporarily insane. Oh, please, he can't be saying that. That's what I'd say if I were defending him. I'd say that he brought the gun to threaten her, but he got into an uncontrollable state where he could no longer distinguish right from wrong. That's ridiculous. And that his subsequent behavior, that of stalking you and your family, supports the argument that he was deranged. Who would believe that? It works on occasion. Look, the real issue here is the children. If we go to trial, they have to testify. Well, I'll tell you right now, Scott can't do it. No, he's too young. It's the other two. Do you really think, given all they've been through, they'll be able to get up on the stand and testify against their father? They can do it. Uh, I don't know, Joanne. Well, okay, then I'll, t I'll talk to them. We'll see. Will I have to see him? Well, he'll be in the courtroom. I don't know. You don't have to talk to him, though. The lawyers will ask you questions and you answer them. Honey, I know it's going to be hard. I'll do it. Billy, are you sure? You know, you can think about this. But I want to. Susie? Hmm. Well, okay, yeah. I guess. Okay. I was brushing my teeth. Me too. And then I heard Mom say something like, no, or don't. Did you hear your father say anything? No. I heard his voice. He said he was going to kill her. You couldn't hear. I could, too. Billy, <clears throat> come on, let's, uh, let's let Dan talk to Susie, okay? I'll buy you a soda, come on. Susie. After you heard their voices, what did you hear? I heard... There... there was a shot. And I was screaming, and Daddy... Daddy was running out of the room. It's okay. I can't. Dan, I've heard of kids testifying on videotape. That's for sexual abuse cases. We can't use that here. It's up to you. Okay. Okay. All right. So, now what happened after you heard the shot? I came out of the bathroom, and Dad was coming out of Mom's room with a gun. Is 
Is this the gun you saw in his hand? Yeah, that's it. We refer to people's exhibit number five. So, your father. He had the gun. And Scott. I thought Ted might shoot him too, so I grabbed Scott and then I, I picked him up. Daddy, no! Daddy just stood there. It seemed like forever. And he just left. He shot her. And then he just left her to die. And she was bleeding, and I took Scott out of the room. And why'd you do that? So I couldn't see. It's just little. And he was crying. Billy! Don't let him Did see. Did you cry, Billy? No. Why not? I was too mad at Daddy. I mean, why'd he do that? Why'd he have to go and shoot her? So, let me get this straight. You're sitting, having a calm discussion with your ex-wife. We all of were a sudden... still married. Oh, I'm sorry. My mistake. Now, at what point in this discussion did you remember that you just happened to have a gun? Objection. Sustained. I'll rephrase. At some point in this discussion, you pulled out your forgotten gun and shot your wife. I don't remember any of that. A gunshot makes a hell of a noise. I didn't hear it. You didn't hear it? No, I mean, I heard it. But it was like it was all really very far away. So you were there, but you weren't there at all? Exactly. Well, that's a good trick, Mr. Miles. I'll remember that one next time I'm looking for a good excuse. Objection. Sustained. You up all night? Mm, pretty much. So, Anne, it'll work out. I don't know. Okay, it won't work out. Oh, uh, Del, come on, don't do that. Joanne, you know, it's one crisis after another. I'm just worn out from it, that's all. Well, how do you think I feel? I don't know. Right now, I don't care. I'm tired. I'm just plain tired. Good morning to you, too. I think it's my fault. I don't know, maybe Bill was right. What? Look, if I hadn't butted in... Lisa would have worked it out herself. She would have. Lisa asked for your help. No, she didn't. See, Bill... <laughs> I made Bill angry at her. I did. And if I hadn't done that, she'd still be here. She would. She would... You don't know that. Well, you know, something It's a distinct possibility. Right? You gotta admit that. Your guilt can't change the past. Oh. Oh, that's profound. That's really profound. I'm sorry, but what is this psychological crap you're throwing at me? Is that supposed to make me feel better? I don't know, is it? Oh, here we go again. Now you're asking me questions when I want some answers. I don't have the answer. It's something you'll have to discover for yourself, but it takes time. All right, well, if you don't have the answers and I don't have the answers, what the hell am I doing here? I think I'm wasting my time. You know something? You're really great with kids, but you're lousy with adults. Joanne! What? Your sister was killed. Now you can run around and take care of everybody, keep the house going, and go to court every day. You can do that. But someday you're going to have to stop running. Turn around and deal with your feelings. You want to know what my feelings are? I can tell you what my feelings are, see. My feelings are that I want Lisa's murderer behind bars for the rest of his life. Those are my feelings. Oh my god! 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 Oh my
You don't watch out, you're gonna fall right off that thing. Maybe that's the idea. You know, the kids are just goofing off. Oh, it's not them. Ah, so. It's me. I just, um. I just miss her, Dell. <laughs> she was my sister. And I just miss her. This is too hard. <laughs> it's just too hard. <laughs> Jury, have you agreed on a verdict? Yes, we've agreed, Your Honor. Please hand the verdict to the bailiff. Will the defendant please rise? <clears throat> on the count of murder in the first degree, how do you find the defendant? We find the defendant guilty. Sentencing one week from today. Court is dismissed. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Thank you so much. No, it was the kids. They're amazing, you know. I know. See you with the sentencing. Thanks again, Dan. Yeah. Joanne. Del. This is a little awkward, but well, now that it's done. We'd really like to see the kids from time to time. I mean, we can understand if you don't want to. Listen, you'll always be their grandparents. Just call us, okay? Thanks. <sighs> Come on, you were nervous. More than you know. Well, you never know what people are going to believe, and Bill put on a good show. Not good enough. <laughs> Not good enough. Right. So. So. Now what? What do you mean, now what? Well, um, <clears throat> where are those adoption papers you want me to sign? Huh. Oh, honey! Um, oh! Oh, I got them right here. I got them right here. How much I love you. Yeah, tell me again. In a minute. No, I love you. 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 Tell me now. I love you. Oh, honey, thank you so much. I love you. I love you. Okay, everybody, time for dinner. Mama, I was just getting good. Watch. <laughs> Boy, yeah. <laughs> Come on. We're stand right here. Family photo time. Oh, I knew it. Come on, Mom, get over there. You just want to see me suffer. <laughs> I'm next to Dad. Me too. Me too. I thought you said she was through with this phase. Well, she just asked about a dark room, so keep smiling. No problem. Ready? Here we go. Come on. <laughs> okay, everybody. And a one. And a two. And a <laughs> three.
Stay tuned, because up next on True Movies 1, Unforgivable. Alternatively on True Movies 2, Dreamkeeper Part 2. And on True Entertainment, Love is Never Silent.